Hi guys and welcome back to another video. You join us at Goodwood Festival of Speed. It's setup day, so we have the Eventuri Titan 7 CSF booth over there. You can see our touring on there. Come to stand 219 if you're around this weekend. But we are on the roof of the BMW stand and have something very special, the brand new three liter CSL. This is the first time I'm seeing the three liter CSL in person, seeing plenty of pictures, not too many videos. This is BMW M's 50th anniversary present to itself. It is essentially an M4 CSL with a full carbon fiber body and it's loosely based on the CSL homage concept of 2015. It didn't quite end up like that because that car was based off the M6 of the time, so it's not as wide, but it is slightly wider than a standard M4. A lot of people prefer these grills, so instead of the grill going all the way down like it does on the normal M3 and M4, they've made them a bit more palatable in size. And I know a lot of people think that they might do this to the normal M3 and M4, but I don't think they will. It doesn't lend itself to the shape. They've changed a lot to get it like this. The car has a lot of exposed carbon around it, including this front splitter here. And you can see the design references between this and the original three liter CSL with the stripes, with the hole intakes on either end of the bumper, with the slightly raised spats on either side of the bonnet. If we go around to the side, you can see the unique center lock wheels, carbon ceramic brakes, and really cool feature they've got on the Michelin tires is actually got 50 on there to match the 50th anniversary number on the side. The stripes continue down the side. They've got carbon fiber exposed side skirts. One thing I'm slightly disappointed about is the fact that they haven't put proper brakes on the rear in terms of the caliper size. I think visually that would have really set the back end off. And I think that was a big complaint on the G82. Whereas the F80 had proper calipers front and rear, the new generation didn't have it. And it looks slightly off. And I think on a car that's like 700,000 pound, they could have tried to fix that. This one has an Hofmeister kink incorporated into it. You can see the back end is quite wide and it kind of goes into an integrated rear spoiler like the original 3 liter CSL has over there. For me, I think the back end of the car is probably my favorite part of it. Works quite well. It's got the roof spoiler, which matches the original one and nice carbon fiber exposed rear diffuser and lower bumper area. There's a few tricks they've done to change the shape of the car. The headlights and the rear lights are actually the same, but they've kind of hidden them into the bodywork. So these are the lights from the M4 CSL, and we also have them on our G82 M4. Coming round to the side, that is actually the original shape of the side glass, but they've manufactured this metal part to look like a Hofmeister kink. And again, the headlights are the same, but they look different because they've managed to put some of the bodywork around the light just to make it look like it's a different shape. We're here on setup day. The car is actually locked. I can see the interior of the car. It says number 0050. That means there will probably be 51 of these because once you start going up the numbers and end up at 50, that means 51. Interior looks pretty much like the M4 CSL. It's even got the old iDrive 7. The most notable thing is the gear stick. It's a manual, so it has a very nice gear shifter with the 50 and the M stripes going around it. The seats, they look pretty much the same as the CSL, just trimmed slightly differently. I wonder what it's going to be like to drive. The M4 CSL is a really good car to drive. I've been really enjoying our one. This one with the combination of manual gearbox is going to be really interesting. I guess not many people are gonna to get to drive this car, but one of my friends, Bob from Study in Japan, is taking delivery of his one soon. So everyone message him on Instagram and tell him to let Imran drive it when he comes in January and maybe I can let you know what it's like. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. If you want to join the conversation, please drop us a comment below and we will do our best to respond to you. And if you're running out of things to watch, why don't you watch one of these two?